Hi, I'm Brian Pfaff. I'm here for the Green Goat Gallery in Spencer, North Carolina. We're here today with our, one of our flagship artists, Don Moore, and uh, we're going to talk with him and see if we can get to know him. Thanks for being here and sharing some time with us, Don. Thanks, Brian. It's a pleasure I, to be here. I guess my first question for you would be, you know, uh, at what point or age in your life did you decide that you were an artist? I think I've always wanted to be an artist, or always known I was going to be an artist. My uh, grandmother gave me a Strathmore drawing pad when I was eight years old, and you don't give an eight-year-old a Strathmore drawing pad, they're very expensive. And uh, I did a drawing of a Christmas card and gave it back to her, and she had it framed, and now I, my mother got it, and then I have it, but that's how I know, that was. that's the earliest that I know of at that, that point, but I think, always have known I wanted to be an artist. So in the early days, your, your family seen the potential for you and they supported you and pushed you along in that direction? They were really great. They didn't know anything about uh, art education. And uh, growing up, in many ways, I did all the wrong things. I did coloring books and I did paint by number and I did all kinds of things, copying, all kinds of things that as a educator I know you're not supposed to have a child do but what was great was they gave me the freedom and they just sort of said they would supply me with paper and as long as I didn't draw on the wallpaper they were pretty open to me drawing. Uh, also I had older brothers and I can remember uh, I didn't know that you progress certain levels at certain ages and uh, I would see my brothers doing uh, a drawing and uh, I would copy what they did, and uh, the, the one I still remember, I was, let's guess, before eight anyway. I was laying on the floor in the living room, and my brother was across from me. We were both on our back, and he drew a football player, and he had the arm up in a position to throw the, the football, and he left. And I, I, I laid there and looked at, you know, I, I understood what he'd done, but mine were these little stick figures, you know, with everything moving that, that way, and that, that was kind of a breakthrough artist. So from a young age, you know. Very young. That's very great. Young. Some artists, I guess, you know, they don't know until they're older. So. I, I joke I would have done whatever it took to get out of Alabama, but, but uh, <laughs> that no, would, no offense that, to our friends from Alabama. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what inspires Don Moore these days? That the artist, the artist that has been everywhere from what I hear. Uh, what inspires you these days when you work? Well, I love figure painting, figure drawing. This morning I was in Mooresville for there's a group that kind of a phenomena really is that all over the country these figure drawing uh, open sessions are opening up. You pay uh, 15, 20 dollars and you have a model for three hours and there's a group this morning there were eight of us, I think, and we drew the, the model for three hours, and then I sometimes paint from the, the drawings. I don't, uh, well, I can't afford to hire a model. I don't really know anybody that, one person who can, <laughs> but, uh, but I can do the drawings from the model and then paint from the drawings. And Maybe the Green Goat Gallery can arrange for you to do some model figurative work. That would be exciting, especially for me. <laughs> uh, for about 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, I, I would say you're, everybody's embarrassed the first time they go to a life drawing session and you, you, you set up. We had always had, uh, when I was in college, the models always wore bathing suits back then. And uh, naively, I thought that's probably what old masters did, <laughs> is that the model was re really wearing a bathing suit and they just painted them in the nude. So the first time I, I drew from a nude model, when it got through, I was so tense that I drew a bathing suit <laughs> on, the, on the model to kind of cover it back up again, I guess. I don't think I would have done that. <laughs> so tell us about, we have a piece of your work displayed here for, for the audience to see. Tell us about this painting. This is actually one of my, my favorite. That's a, an example of what's called backlit. But what happened was I was in a, a life drawing group that was in Winston-Salem and we were meeting in a woman's uh, garage. We always get glamorous spots where you get to meet for these things. But this was in a lady's uh, 
garage and I was about 15 minutes late getting there. And when I went in, all the good spots were taken. So I pulled up my easel and my chair and the only place that was really open was directly behind uh, the model, or I mean the light was directly into my eyes. And at first it was that this is impossible, but the more I worked at it, it, it Today is actually one of my favorite things to do, is to, to draw the model with the light behind. Well, I think that the, the painting itself, it has a nice soft focus to it, and I think it, it softens the, the features of the model, and I think it looks really nice. I'm in a uh, plein air painting group now in Salisbury. We meet on Fridays, and we go out to, to paint, and the uh, emphasis in plein air is kind of impressionist painting. I, I'd never really done that before, but for instance, this has the example of the, the cool colors in the shade and the warm colors where the light is hitting the figure, and um, I suppose I did that intuitively, but now I look at it and think, gee, that's cool. I'm glad I did that. That's cool. So what's next for Don Moore? Uh, I'm about to have a show at the uh, Ardell Museum in Statesville, and I'm, I'm pretty much stressing out over it. It's a lot of work, but uh, this is, I'm going to have... Is this a one-man show? It's a, it's a one-person show, and Excellent. it'll be about between 25 and 30 pieces, and none of them are more than two years old. And uh, I've been hung up on a, a theme of, well, I'm calling the show Historic Perspective, and it's their, their kind of, well, Excuse me, I had an antique business, and so I've always collected antique objects, and I'll uh, be at a yard sale or an antique store, and something will just kind of, I hate the expression, but speak to me. And so I pick it up, and I never really know why, and I just think, gee, I really need to have this. And so these paintings, a lot of them are kind of combining uh, antique artifacts and then imaginary people who might have owned uh, that particular object, but the idea is the viewer has to sort of fill in the story you know, of, of uh, what is the connection between, say, a, a cameo brooch and a Victorian photograph or something, and you know that one is a photograph and one is a, the real object, and mm -hmm. so you kind of fill in the, the story. And, um, but they asked me to do the show by the museum, and that was, that was quite an honor. Uh, I have a lifetime uh, honorary membership in that particular museum. That's not mm. the reason that they uh -huh. asked me to have the show, uh -huh. but I lived in Statesville, and I was at the uh, community college, and I was on the board several times while I lived there. And uh, I moved to Salisbury eight years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, they just thought I had done a lot for the museum, which is quite flattering. And, and it sounds very true. <laughs> well, thank you for coming in today. The thank gallery you. would like to thank you for being one of our artists. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Again, Brian Pfaff of the Green Goat Gallery. Thank you for watching. <laughs>